Yo, what's up guys? Um, so today I'm going to be working on the 2019 Dodge Charger Grow Vents. Um, I just uninstalled these today off the car so I can paint them and color match them to the car. My car's color is white, so I'm going to be painting these white as well. Um, you can buy a little stencil off eBay for like $13 that goes around this outer rim. But I feel like having the entire vent white or whatever color you want it to be looks a lot better and less tacky. So I'm going to be doing that today and I'll show you guys how I do that. Yeah, so um, they're, they come off pretty easy. They're just some tabs right here that you pull off the, the grill. And once you have it out, uh, you can paint it, do whatever. So I'm going to start doing that now. Um, enjoy. So just a little FYI before you do start this on your own, um, when you're pulling off these grills, be very careful with the little clips that come on the car or the part. Uh, they're very prone to breaking, they're very thin and weak. Um, so be careful when you're pulling this off because you don't want to break any. Um, I luckily didn't break any, but the person who I learned from, they did break a few. Um, so just be very careful, take it nice and slow, you should be good. So I will be using three separate layers, um, primer because it is um, plastic and since it's on the front of the car uh, there's high chance of rock chips and things like that so I definitely want the paint to stick as best as possible. So I'm going to start with the primer, do about two coats of that, uh, then this white semi-gloss. Um, I couldn't find the normal like non-gloss one so I just got this, doesn't really matter and then this 2K clear to finish it off uh, How with that UV protectant. Um, so hopefully it comes out pretty well and we'll see how it goes. So I just finished, I think it was two coats of primer and then one coat of white and then I'm going to do one more coat of white and then move on to clear. But so far it's looking pretty good. Um, so this is how it's looking with two coats of primer and then one coat of white. Uh, pretty good coverage overall. And you can tell even on the insides, it's all painted white. I did make sure to do the outer edges as well. So I think I'm looking good. Just to be safe, I'm going to do one more coat of the white and then move on to clear and we should be good to go. So I just finished painting the grill. Um, I did two coats of everything, so two coats of primer, two coats of clear, and then two coats of white. And everything came out really nice and smooth, uh, full coverage, so I think I'm going to call it a day for that, and then I'll show you guys how it turned out. As you can see, they came out pretty nice. Uh, I'm gonna let it dry overnight now because I have a very bad track record of touching wet paint or touching parts that I painted way too early. Uh, so I'm gonna let them fully dry and then install them tomorrow and then I'll show you guys how it looks on the car.
So it's the next day and I let the parts completely dry. This is how they came out. Came out pretty solid. Um, now that it's dry, I am seeing a few imperfections that I, where I messed up on, but nothing that anyone else is gonna notice. So I'm just gonna install it how it is and I'll show you guys how that turns out. See this? Someone ripped my paint off the car with their door. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. And that's not the only spot. It looks like right down there, I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but there's a small dent in the door. Another person dinged my door again. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, subscribe for more content. Hopefully there's some more stuff coming out soon. Some small stuff, some big stuff as well. But I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.